Okay, let's see if I can show you the problem that I'm having at the moment with the, the physics assets. Now, as you can see here, this is the latest one that Epic has supplied us. And you can see there compared to the... Oh, I've got my, got my camera set up too, too fast. As per normal. Two seconds. There you go. I'll put it down to four. Okay, so you've got the, the Hero TPP character, which is the one that they're using at the moment. You've got the new, well, I say the new, the revised scaled version of the Hellbender. And this is the, uh, the Scorpion, which I modified. I'll show you that in a the, in the moment. All right, and the, the, th the thing is, I... I know you've got it working to an extent there and it's running around in a nice little box which is fine you, you managed a lot more than what I have because I've got to use it as a straight pawn at the moment but uh, let's see I had to re-import all this because when I tried sinking it just didn't like it so basically what I did was I added a new, I exported the mesh as an FBX, imported it, added a new bone, set it at zero zero zero, and linked the rest of the the stuff or joints, bones, whatever you want to call them, onto it that root bone. Now we've done this plenty of times, I think. If I remember rightly, not too sure, this was the way that we had to have it for UT2004. And then in UT3 and UDK, the, the centre of the rig, or the root bone of the rig, was actually then in the centre of the, uh, the mesh. Anyway, now, that was the original one that we got at the weekend so the scale on that is completely wrong now if I just quickly you know, make sure that I've still got these on the default so you can see now if I hit enter to start the simulation it plops down and yeah that's fine now if I quickly set the wheels onto cinematic which according to Ori's tutorial is what they should be and now hit enter it does nothing okay but I did have this working in game well in the game as a pawn so that that's okay I, I'm happy with that now the problem you get when you don't have the uh, the root bone at zero 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 is if I just quickly undo these to default. Uh, I don't know whether you've actually tried this or not, but uh, all right, so this is basically I just cleared out all, all the uh, the bones that were below here which was uh, delete all bodies below, added a box, and then added spheres. So uh, now, yeah, it do doesn't look pretty, but <laughs> that's due to the skinning. Now, if I go to the bones, to the tyres, put them onto c c cinematic, And now, if I hit simulate, whoops, where's that gone? Now, as you can see from the the one that I modified, that doesn't happen. So, I've come to the conclusion that somewhere, when I looked at Ori's example of that very basic vehicle, the uh, the root position well the position of the root bone was at zero 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 and other people who have tried it had the exact same 
problem issues. Now, I'm not too sure how this is going to affect things on the landscape. Obviously, it seems to be working fine in the box. But on a landscape, I was having a few issues yesterday, which could well be to how I'd done the landscape. But we'll see how that goes. But that's the main problem that I'm having at the moment. It, w it does cause issues somewhere. And I believe that's why it should be at zero 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 i might be wrong hopefully i'm not because then i don't have to change it, any of my content anyway so but if i do have to put it at zero zero i'll have to sort out all the rigs okay i'll leave it at that and i'll make this video actual public okay